<laughs> yeah, I was very confused for a second. So we have Samus, Bowser, Snake, Fox. What do you think of this matchup? I feel like... There's gonna be a lot of explosions, a lot of in a lot of fire. A lot of I feel like there's gonna be it's a probably lot of one of the most epic matchups that you can ask for. Think we're gonna see like any like good reflects or anything? Maybe. I wouldn't doubt it. I kind of like how their team dynamic is built up of like you know the zoner and then the person who just goes in. DragonCon 2021, we are here. Good news for everyone watching the stream. Um, we're no longer going to have any matches go off stream. Everything's going to be on stream from here on out. That's cool. So, you know, right now we are in Losers Quarterfinals. Jester, T-Rex versus the Ganon Cannon. The Ganon Cannon? The Ganon Cannon. You're, wait, that's actually their name, Ganon Cannon. The Ganon Cannon himself. Wow. Man. And Roxo. The Gerudo gun. The Gerudo Valley gun. Amazing. That sounds so cool. That doesn't it though? Yeah. Like that's 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 such a sick. That's name. like your your special move or something. The Ganon Cannon. Ganon Cannon! Boo! Right. Goya! <laughs> you know it's crazy how iconic some of these sound effects from Smash Brothers are. I really think people like and like in general, like a lot of people, they kind of underestimate the like power of video game soundtracks, like like sound design. You know what oh, I mean? Oh yeah, that's sound one design is so important. It really is. Like I know we, we like off stream, we talked about like Death Stranding and stuff. One of my favorite things about that game was the sound design. Like every every time I heard something, I knew exactly what was going on. You know what I mean? Yeah, you knew that your day was about to be ruined. Right. Yeah. Right. And it was just little like beeps and stuff. But then like even with a game like this, you know. The soundtrack is insane. Yeah. We have literally like hundreds. Um, have we have we broken a thousand songs in this Probably. Game yet? Probably. More than likely. More than likely. And we also have like a bunch of characters from like different franchises, all with their unique sound designs and like right. they stay super true to them. I will, yeah, I do have to applaud, you know, the developers of this game for like keeping, like doing their best to stay true to these like characters' gameplay. Even like when we have like abominations, like Steve from Minecraft. You know, you have to give it up to the developers for yeah. being able to kind of replicate Minecraft gameplay in a fast-paced game like this and make it work. That is true. You know, it, it's, it's, that's that's, a, really that's a challenge in itself, I feel like. And he was, he was pretty early in the Fighter's Pass, too. So yeah. It's not, it's not like, you know, he was like the last one or anything. We're actually still waiting on the last character. Who do you think it'll be? Sora. Sora? Yeah. From Kingdom Hearts? Okay. Sure, why not? That's actually a really, I think that's a good prediction. That's a safe prediction. You know, we had that game, that Kingdom Hearts game come out on the Switch. Did it? Yeah, it's like a rhythm game. I think, oh, yeah, I yeah. think I the abbreviation is like MOM or something. Yeah. So, I mean, that's it's very like possible, you know, but we'll see. I personally want, I would love to have Master Chief just because like, you know, it's Halo. Halo's iconic, you know? Yeah. I feel like when- You have a lot of history with Halo. Right. And plus, I feel like when people think about like first person shooters, even though Halo obviously was like not the first, mm -hmm. but it was like, I feel like it was one of the most impactful and one of the most iconic. Well, let's see if this Charizard can make an impact on this game. And Charizard? Charizard, man. Charizard. It has been a long day. This Bowser, look at the yeah. up smash securing the kill. He was just pressing Fox buttons on him. Hey, Charizard. That was a rough 2v1. Charizard. Bowser was just pressing Bowser buttons. I mean. I'm calling him Charizard for the rest of the game. I hope you know that. Hey. I don't know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, it's Charizard. Come on, Chuck. Looks like we got some... We got some Chuck fans in the crowd. Some, yep. Fans in the crowd. We'd love to see it. <laughs> it's Tiger Guy himself. Man. I wonder what his power level is. It's up there. It has to be. It has to be. Ash saying something. Wow. I think, I think they're all together. You think so? Yeah, they might be. That makes sense. Or they might be new best friends. Old best friends, new best friends. Everybody's a friend here at Dragon Con 2021. I just love saying it. I noticed. I can't believe we're here. It's like your 20th time saying it. I'm going to say it 2,001 more times. It's going to be a long weekend. Because it's Dragon Con 
2021. There you go. You get it. You get it. I, team time. staying the same. I did not actually catch what stage they're going to. We're going to a stage. One stage. One of the legal variety. One stage and one stage only. Battlefield. Battlefield. We're just running it back to Battlefield. That's just interesting. Um, I mean, I like Battlefield for Samus and for Snake, too. It's um, arguably one of uh, Fox's best stages. So. Really? Yeah. Why is that? Uh, he's a really good uh, like combo character with a lot of platform resets. That's true. I, it's okay, so I didn't even think about like the fact that... You, you know, missed it earlier. He was just up there in Bowser. Like 20 minutes Damn. up there. Bowser couldn't land. Right. Okay. I felt really bad. I didn't really feel that bad. But I felt pretty bad. I mean, it's pretty crazy. And I mean, I feel like Samus can you know, camp under the platforms. Kind of keep like um, you know them at bay, just like with her projectiles and stuff. They're gonna have to jump at her. She can fair, but I mean, Ganon Cannon Rock Slide taking the first stock of this set. Not this set, sorry, this game. But I still like uh, Jester and T Rex's chances of winning. They oh, seem yeah. to, they're playing pretty solid. They're really good friends. They've been friends for a long time, so I feel like they have a lot of um, synchronicity when it comes yeah. to like you know playing doubles and stuff. This team comp is actually pretty good. Fox and Snake. I know a lot. Of, not a lot of people are fans of going Fox and Doubles. Why is that? Is it because he's it's so really light? Squishy. Okay. And doubles is really fast place. It's hard to keep track of everything. Right. Right. It just kind of explodes. You know? That's that's true. That's true. But I mean, I feel like he's a good pick too, especially like with the stage and with Snake. You know, Snake providing like you know support with projectiles and stuff. While Fox just kind of like you know does Fox thing. You know combos. Just like keeps up the pressure. Like Fox is in your face, Snake is like behind him, just throwing projectiles at you. It's really hard to get out of that. Yeah. But I will say, Ganon, Cannon, and Rockside are doing a really good job. Um, it looks like they've, they've wow. taken a lead now. That like, was some tech. Using Snake's body as a weapon of mass destruction. Wow. Has that ever been done before? No. I mean, like Snake is pretty caked up. I must say, it's, uh, very thick. I knew it would come to this eventually. I was just waiting. <laughs> You've not let me know. Only matter of time. Looks like we have an elf from the North Pole here. Oh, do you think he knows Wolf Arrow? It's very possible him and Buddy the Elf are colleagues. Yeah. It's very possible. I think I see Miles Morales. No, that's just Black Spider Man. Okay, so Miles Morales. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Anyway, back to the game at the end. I mean, I, I feel like... They really brought it back. They really we, did. We weren't really sure of this Battlefield pick, but they're, they're the players. You know, we don't know anything. That's true. We're just here to talk. We are just here to talk. Keep each other company. Which, I mean, talking is fun. Especially when it's about video games with my friend, you know? Yeah. It's a good weekend. Ooh, nice up smash from the Fox. Jester, by the way. And there's still hope. If they can clear up these stocks pretty mo like moderately fast. They could they could definitely bring this back. It's still it's definitely not over for T-Rex and Jester. Look at this. Yeah. Like look, getting stage control. Taking it from Simpai, but now it's just T-Rex. Yeah. Snake isn't the worst in a 2v1. He's really good at disrupting like synergy. Right. So. And he can he can cover a lot of ground while not actually like being where the ground is covered, like with the C4 and grenades and stuff, you know? Yeah. It's, it's almost kind of like really dangerous to combo him. Yeah. But I mean at these percents and you have like Bowser just being able to, you know, do that just to take him out of delete him. Oh, we got some hype from the crowd. We love to see it. Tiger Man showing his fangs. Getting loud. Do you think we're going to see a character switch? I don't think so. I don't think so either. It looks like they, they it looks like all players feel really comfortable with like the characters they have on the screen right now, but I'm really interested to see if cuz they, they can't I don't know if Dave's stupid rule is on, but I yeah. don't think they can go back to Battlefield technically anymore because both teams have won on it. Yeah. So we might just see Pokémon Stadium 2. I like this. I actually really like this stage. Oh my, is that that is the third Hokage. Wait, that is the third Hokage. Wait, wait I am wrong. That no, is that's the Naruto. sixth Hokage. Yeah. Naruto. Wow. Wow. We have some really famous representation in the building. I can't believe Naruto Uzumaki himself is here. Cheering on his favorite bottle of ketchup. Man, you love to see it. But Pokemon Stadium 2. Best PlayStation. 
where most sets begin. It's actually going to be the end of this set. Who's going to win? Who's, who's to say? Oh, yeah, it is quarters. Wow, it's first to, first to two. First to two, that's right. These matches have been pretty good. Watching Fox run around is always fun. Having to navigate some projectiles and big bodies. All right, he's so fast, too, dude. Oh, okay. I love that was a really good confirm from Jester, you know, up tilt to up air. The T-Rex able to secure the stock with the up smash. He great. charged that for like a minute. But this is like li quite literally the home field for Georgia plus Matt. I don't yeah. think I really doubt that anybody actually like strikes. Everybody just gentlemen's the PlayStation 2. Why would you strike? You're just know. wasting time. You can just play the game. That's true. That's very true. But Jester and T-Rex are wasting no time at all. Having a really good lead early on. I mean, they're both at kill percents. Fox, for sure. Snake may be able to like live, but I don't think... I think one more Bowser Fair would probably do it. Bowser Fair off stage. Kill or, practically. Or, or down there. That's, that's yeah. very true. You know, Bowser can be so oppressive off stage. It's really scary, especially when he's like when he has his jump and he's just like chasing you down with fair. Like, he really falls at you. Like, There's not really much you can do. I mean, you can try to go under, but that puts you like I feel like in a bad situation too. Wow. Fox living that dash attack from Snake at such high percent. That's crazy. I did not expect that. He was at the edge of the stage too, wasn't he? Yeah, but that was really fortunate for them. Seriously. Because you really don't want to lose that stock right now. Because that's a that's a huge game changer of a stock. Very true. I would say uh, box stocks are probably the most valuable on the screen right now. I agree. I agree. Just because like they're so volatile, you know yeah. what I mean? Like you can lose them at any point, so keeping it Fox alive as long as possible, I really think is a good, yeah. good strategy. Obviously having Snake alive too is good as well, but yeah. you know, looks like Fox is the point player while Snake trying to be the support. But I think they're actually I'm liking how Cannon Cannon and Rock Slide are trying to disrupt that by kind of just like forcing 1v1s, you know what I mean? Yeah. But it looks like um Jester and T-Rex may be able to gain their footing. Good up tilt, but then we lose the stock also to the down air from Bowser. Yeah. Uh, red team's still up. T-Rex and Jester. That's true. Okay. So it's not the end of the world. It's definitely not the end of the world. Nor the end of the game either. Nor yeah. the end of the set. They can still do this. But unfortunately, the team that does lose this game, they're out of the tournament. I'm yeah. not sure what place they would get, but I mean, losers out of 24 quarters? teams. Yeah, this is losers quarters. They should be getting fifth. This is for playing for fifth. Playing for fifth? Okay, okay. Which, I mean, that's pretty good out of 24 teams. Yeah. All right. So, and it, that may be it. That's it. Wow. Jester and T-Rex will move on, defeating Ganon, Cannon, and Rock Slide. Looks like they're up against Stick and Humungulus next for the loser semis final. Winner of that will face Ducks and Alchemist in the loser's final. And then the winner of the loser's final will go on to face Jose, JFB, and Iker. Iker. <laughs> That's a kind of cool name. Ike with an R. Yeah. Iker. Iker. But I'm un it's unfortunate that... I don't know how to feel about it. He doesn't play Ike. He might. He might have a pocket he, Ike. I was about to say, I feel like he's he's, he's using the Piranha Plant just for doubles. Brian the boys are back in town. The big boys we're about to see. Are we going to see Ganon and K. Rool? The button punchers. The button punchers? They're not pressers, they're punchers. <laughs> Punching the buttons? Hey, good game, guys. Oh, no, you're good, dude. You're, that's good. You got a white claw, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> I, I get it, bro, I get it. <laughs> Seriously, though, I love white claws. They're delicious. Shouts yeah. out to white claw. You can get drunk but not have to worry about the calories. Yeah. Great. Shout out to ketchup. Shout out to ketchup. Ketchup's the best condiment. We love ketchup. Oh, word? Okay. You guys did really good. I can't believe that ketchup bottle just held you hostage.